I want to be a cougar. And I said that in a, at a show. I was like, I want to be a cougar. And there was a cougar in the crowd. There always is sitting there. She screams out to me, Deborah, she says, you're doing it wrong, Deborah. You're not supposed to chase the men. You're supposed to trap them. That's what she said. I was like, that's a weird thing to say. <laughs> but then I thought about it. I'm like, I like your style, old lady. I like your style. Are you kidding? I went back to my hotel room, started to think about it. I'm like, what would a cougar trap look like, do you think? You know? So I got out a piece of paper and a pen, and I started to make some sketches, just preliminary sketches. Do you know what I'm saying? Just a couple things. Guideline, blueprints, you know? I got the protractor out of my purse. You know I mean? don't know why I have a protractor in my purse. Normally I use it to stab strangers. Tonight, circles, boom. Very busy, very busy. Born and raised right here, now living in Los Angeles. Excuse us, Gemini Award winning Deborah DiGiovanni. And Hello. You call yourself a late bloomer. Your tour it begins yes. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I, a late bloomer tour. It's, I mean, I started comedy a little later in life. <laughs> but also, I think it's really more of a, an emotional late bloomer. Like, let's be honest. Do you feel like a grown up? Do you no. feel right? No. Do you feel like around 14 every day of your life? Every day. <laughs> this is it. And that's it. The late bloomer. Just is it, every is, day. Is it the Italian thing? I don't know. A Our parents are very coddling? proud. A little bit too much uh, very, Yeah, very proud. But that's what it is. I think it's, I have a twin sister. And, you know, my, my sister is um, married with three children. And I'm running around. You know. Is she funny? She, my sister has a good sense of humor. This is what it is. You know, she was a good laugher. I would shoot jokes at her. <laughs> she would accept. And that's it. My family is the good laughers. That's everybody. Amazing. I didn't mm. know you had a twin. Yeah. So you always had your built-in audience. This is it. Exactly. Shout out to your family. Uh, no. watching hey, right hey, now. Joe. They actually get to see you. Yeah. Let's talk about the fact that because you've been living in L.A., you said you have material for days. <gasps> you just walk outside and the gold comes to you. To you. <laughs> it's it's the it gift is. that keeps oh, on it giving. It really, really is. We're going to talk about, first of all, uh, Miley Cyrus. Love her, oh. hate her. I mean, oh. 2013. It was her year. That was definitely her year. Look, we got a picture of her right it, there. God, it would have been God a bit boring her. without mm -hmm. her. Now, the thing is, one thing that I do love about her is that she's just kind of owning it for such a young woman. Do you know what I mean? She, I saw her, was she on Letterman? And she's like, you know, I don't only just, you know, twerk and lick stuff. I sing a little bit, too. And I was like, good for, for you. you. I'm telling you, I, I got to, first of all, you're young. You might as well show it off when you're young. Am I right? She's you're not going to be able to wear that for much longer, mm -hmm. you know? And, and, and bless her heart, it's all, no press is bad press. Good for her. <laughs> exactly. No press is bad press. Okay. Good for her. Justin Bieber oh, has oh, been getting a lot of Except for his bad press. Oh, a lot of <laughs> Beebs. Look at him. What's happening? He's, he's retired. He's, he's apparently. retired. At the, what is he, 20? Yeah. Oh, Ish. Bieber. Well, now he can be my houseboy. <laughs> um, I'll send him an application. But the thing, I just, he's really had some trouble this year with the Brazilian prostitute. Yeah, there was a little bit of that. And there was you know, some graffiti there stuff. There was some graffiti and some bad things. He's yeah. been saying some bad stuff to his fans yeah. and stuff. But, okay, everyone's all panicked. They're, oh, what's Bieber doing? Rem please remember, he's a teenage boy. I say that So too. they're a sociopath until, what, 37? <laughs> so Aren't they? Isn't that what it is? That's not me. That's science, everybody. But then they're crazy. Teenage boys are terrifying on the best of days. Give him seventy million dollars. That's like, a, come on. That so is you're, a, you're a believer. There's just I, well, too many enablers. I, I'm a bit of a believer. I'm like, I, it's just the Canadian thing. He's Canadian. I still want him. And I met him. You know that, right? That and? whole story. We made eye contact. He knew my name. Did he? <laughs> Shut up. I don't know the story. <laughs> Okay, back it up. Know. Seriously, Where yeah, the was years it? ago at one of the parties, yeah. he, I was uh, just standing in the hall, minding my business, and then he came through. They were like, clue the hall, Justin's coming through, but I didn't move. Dina. Right, right. I was like, you know what? Yeah, babes, somebody stop me. Go around, yeah. baby. I just stood there. <laughs> and then he came by, we made eye contact, and I just went, mm, you know, I kind of was like, yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. He came back to me, and it was like, oh, Deborah. He's like, I love you on that show. And then Which I one? had him from the video so on trial. He was just because remember trial. when it started, he was eleven when it started. And he's from Canadian. We had a little moment. I squealed like a child. And you were like, and then remember they that dragged time? me out of the party. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> I was ready to go. I so had you could shrimp. call up yeah. the beeves. Maybe he could do a little uh, uh, sideshow. A duet is with with you. you could open for me on tour. That's what I'm thinking. There's nothing else happening right now. I need, <laughs> I need, I need, I need to know yeah. Kim Ye. Oh. Your thoughts on okay. Kim Ye. Now let me just say this. The two of them. I like that we're calling them Kim Ye because let's be honest, together they barely make one human together. Oh. They barely, I mean, we're talking mentally and emotionally, is what I'm talking about. I mean, look at the two. They're perfect. Is this, is this, this was, perfect. they are perfect for each other? Yes. And together, and it's from the gossip gods. Thank you for this one, because this is thank you. This is ridiculous. And thank you, Deborah DiGiovanni. Check her out. Her tour starts, Late Bloomer Tours, what it's tomorrow. called. It's tomorrow in. 
You're on the East St. Coast? St. John's, yeah. Good luck with that Florida. <laughs> but she will be back here January 24th at the Winter Garden Theater. So make sure you book tickets by going to hahaha.com slash Deborah Giovanni and follow her on Twitter at Deborah Giovanni. Support our awesome Gemini Award winning <laughs> local talent. And to think you started it off right here answering the phones in City. <laughs> I know. Take us through it so it was like. Bring. City Much Bravo, hold please. Oh my gosh. City Much Bravo, hold oh, please. And no one's ever done it as good since. Always put it on a hold. They never got through. You want to throw it to Kevin for me? <laughs> you can do my oh, job. Oh guys, we're going to go out into the street for Kevin Frank and yeah. Kevin!